open up with a word of prayer. We'll let uh, those who are coming in come on in, but I'm going to jump right into this so we won't uh, hold you too long tonight, but there is a word from the Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank, thank you, God, Lord. for thank this you. day. <laughs> this is the day that you have made, and we shall Jesus. rejoice and be glad in it, God, in spite of the hustle and bustle of the day, in spite of even some of the stress we had, God, you are still worthy, and we still know we are blessed in spite of all that we have been through. And Father, we just ask that your favor will be upon us as we share this word tonight. God, we need to hear a word from you in the middle of the week. God, we pray that you will turn somebody's situation around. Father, I believe eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, nor has it entered to the hearts of man what you have in store for them on tonight. So Father, we ask that you will move mightily on this platform. God, if you did it in a park, you can do it on this platform. So God, we pray right now that your healing power will go forth right now, that your deliverance power. But ultimately, God, we believe if somebody logged on that does not know you in the pardon of their sin, they will even receive you as their Lord and Savior. God, we didn't show up just to see who was here, but God, we showed up to hear a word from you and to be encouraged and uplifted. So God, move mightily in this time. God, we thank you right now in advance for what you're about to do. We're not even going to wait till the word is said before we give your name praise. We're not going to wait till the battle is over before we give you praise. So God, we're going to praise you in advance Hallelujah. in Jesus' Hallelujah. name that we do pray. Amen. Can somebody give God Amen. praise in advance? Come on. Come on, give them praise in the middle of the storm. If you're going through Amen. something, you give God praise right in the middle of it. Amen. Yes. Amen. 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 Well, we're going to go ahead and jump into this very familiar passage on the night. Today is uh, the 27th day of Psalms. I mean, 27th day of July. Yeah. So we're going to look at the 27th uh, <laughs> division of Psalms. Yeah. Uh, Auntie, I'm glad you're sharing that screen with Uncle. Come on. I see, I see you, Uncle. <laughs> <laughs> but we're going to look at the 27th division of Psalms. And I'm going to read uh, just the first three verses into your mm. ear. Um, very familiar, y'all. The Lord is my light and my salvation whom shall i fear the lord is the stronghold of my life of whom shall i be afraid when the wicked advance against me to devour to devour me it is my enemies and my foes who will stumble and fall though an army besiege me my heart will not fear Though a war break out against me, mm -hmm. even then I will be confident. I like that right there, y'all. The yeah. Lord is my light and my salvation. Yeah. And just for a moment tonight, I want to talk from the topic, don't forget to leave your light on. Mm. Don't forget to leave your light on. How many know that uh, there was a song that used to be sung by the kids, this little light of mine, mm -hmm. I'm going to let it shine. Mm -hmm. Come on, let it shine. And I love that little song back then. But how many you know, as we grew up, you know, even as kids, we wanted mom, them, and dad them to leave a light on when we went to bed. Mm -hmm. Come on, y'all. And even still now, y'all, how many, how many now? Can I be honest? Because me and Lady Val, we still leave a light on at night. Come on, <laughs> a little night light, a little hallway light. Yeah. And the reason we do this is because even though we're familiar with the house, mm -hmm. how many know if it's dark? We can easily fall. Ooh. And that's the word right there. We leave mm. the light on so we will not fall. Mm. And God told that's me to true. tell somebody, don't forget to Thank leave you. the light on Thank because some of the areas that we have yeah. failed in is because we were in the dark and we didn't have the light on. Come on, y'all. Wow. We can go ahead and shut it down right there because mm. it is important that we leave our light on. This light, this, the Lord is my light and my salvation. And mm. this why it's important because like many of the psalms here in psalms 27 is a prayer of deliverance mm -hmm. and david as as a lot of the psalms go he is facing a challenging time in his life right now and he brings it before god but as usual david brings it before god but david ends up with a note of trust and commitment y'all even though david goes through some of the challenging moments in his life he always trusts god mm -hmm. and he always stays committed to god and that's why i love david can i just be honest i love david because he's a man after god's own heart mm 
Yes, he is. is spiritual, but David is real. Mm -hmm. And you need to have some real people around Amen. you. Amen. He's spiritual and he's real. Mm -hmm. It's time out for being around just spiritual people and spooky people. Come on, y'all. Yeah. Help me somebody. I don't need somebody when I just ask them how the weather is out there. And they got to tell me this is the day that the Lord has made. You know, I need you. To just, I just ask you one question. How's the weather out there? It was raining when I came in. How is it today, <laughs> right now? So, so David, at the same time, he's spiritual and he's real he's very transparent and i thank god for thomas because when he said this uh months ago I, it sticks with me and i say it all the time transparency leads to transformation mm -hmm. y'all whenever you are real with god and whenever you real with people that god is placed in your path to witness to that is the moment where your your transparency leads to transformation yes, the does. more that you're real to god with god and the more that you're real with yourself yeah. you will oh, notice Jesus. that you begin to change mm -hmm. there's no sense in hiding things from god oh, god knows Jesus. everything about you he knows the number of hairs that's on your head god created you he knew you before you were even born he knew you when you were still in the womb god knew you he destined you so why should i hide anything from god and i love this about david because david is transparent and here david is going through multiple conspiracies he's going through confrontations after confrontations disappointments and even human failures and i love this because his failure years tested his faith and how many know that 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 is an area right there where there was moments where we failed mm -hmm. but it also tested our faith mm -hmm. because the bible says without faith it's impossible to please God. Mm -hmm. And I stopped by to let somebody know right now that if you want to please God, you have to have faith. Yes. You have to have faith in God. If you want to please God, you have to have faith in God. And David helps us, especially here in Psalm 27, to see how we can go from walking in fear to standing on faith. Mm -hmm. Come on, y'all. Anybody Amen. need to hear how you can go from fear to faith? Amen. Come on, yeah. That the first thing we must do is take comfort in the Lord. Mm -hmm. Let somebody put that on. Can somebody put that on it? Take comfort in the Lord. And it says it right there. The Lord is my salvation. The Lord is my light. I'm sorry. And my salvation. Whom shall I fear? David, first thing David does is he says, God brought illumination to what seemed like devastation. Mm -hmm. and I don't know about you. There have been some moments in my life where it seemed like the enemy was all around me. It seemed like devastation had my name on it, but it wasn't mm -hmm. until God brought the illumination in the midst of that dark situation and caused me to understand that God is still with me yeah. in the midst of my darkness, in the midst of the devastation. He still is in the midst and the miracle working business. How many know God is still doing miracle signs and wonders? And this had to be a dark season for David because he said, the Lord is my light mm -hmm. and my salvation. Mm -hmm. And David knew that he needed the light to guide him through what he was going through. Anybody mm -hmm. need God's light right now? Because you might find yourself in a dark situation even yes. right now. And God says, I am the light. I am the truth. I am the way. Mm -hmm. And you need to follow him in order to get through what you're going through. Amen. You know, because darkness brings, brings about a, discomfort. An, a discomfort. Mm -hmm. Watch yeah. me now. Darkness brings discomfort, but the light brings comfort. Mm -hmm. mm -mm -mm. I think I need to say it again. Darkness brings discomfort, mm -hmm. but the light brings comfort. Mm -hmm. And this might be a real crazy praise right now, y'all. Mm -hmm. Because I can I can sit here today without a shadow of, of doubt, of the doubt, of doubt, and give God praise for the dark seasons yeah. I went through. Yeah. I know y'all looking at me like, how can you give God praise for the dark seasons? Because it was in those dark seasons that God developed me. Yeah, okay. yeah come on, y'all. You know, some people think that it was the mountaintop experience that developed you. No, it was the valley that you went through that yeah. developed you. David says, yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil because yeah, his rod and his staff are with me. And you got to understand those dark seasons, even though there were mistakes I made, even though there was challenges all around me, it developed 
develop me. And mm -hmm. sometimes you got to understand that that's where your ministry really first started. Can I help somebody right now? Mm -hmm. It wasn't because it didn't start when you gave your life to Christ. It started when you were out there in the dark season, mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. that is part of your testimony. That is part of your Thank witness. You. That you. is part of your anointing. You. That is part of the ministry that God is giving you. That's why, how dare we not tell where we, where God yeah. brought us yeah. from, because you you tie your testimony to God's word, and that's how you're going to end up helping somebody else come out the dark. Because I say it all the time, people don't care how much we know until they know we care. People want to know what you've been through. People want to know that you can identify with right. them. People want to know, have you ever smoked weed? Come on. People want to know, have you ever drank any alcohol? People yeah. want to know, have you ever been out in the street? Yeah. And God says it comes a time where you got to be transparent with them and tell them it was nobody but God right. that took the alcohol out of my mouth. It was I but God that took the cigarettes and the weed out of my mouth. Yeah. Come on, it was nobody God that took me from the club to yeah. the church house. Come on, sometimes yeah. you got to be honest yeah. and transparent with people because that's what's going to help them in their deliverance. Somebody yeah. say, I got to be honest. I got to be transparent. Because this is a moment where God says in Psalms 1828, my God turns my darkness into light. Mm. Psalms 1828. My God turns my darkness into light. Y'all, my mother growing up, she what she she didn't play. You know, when we was growing up, we was like eight, nine, ten. We on the block, y'all. That's when all the neighborhood kids played. Mama gave us a rule. And this is what mama said: when those street lights come on, you better be on this porch, or better yet, in the house. Anybody had parents like that? Come on, y'all. Come on. Mama didn't play, y'all. It wasn't no exception or no excuse to the rule. Mm -hmm. You cannot be down the street. You cannot be across the street. When those street lights come on, you are to be on this porch or else, y'all. And let me tell you something. Before the street lights came on, I was on the porch. I was right there because I knew what was coming if I wasn't on the porch. Listen, mama didn't play. The light meant it was time to go home. Mm. Yes. Listen to me. The light meant it was time to go home. That's in the physical. In the spiritual, the light is a signal that it's time for us to go in the direction that God has told us to go in. Yeah. Hallelujah. Because when mama told us mm -hmm. when that light comes on, it's time to go home. God showed me even today, that's still in the spiritual realm. When that light comes on, Thank that you, helps Thank us you, come out of darkness you, and go into the direction God has called us to be. So you mm. cannot stay in the dark because God says, I am the light and the truth. God Thank says, you. this is why I'm showing you the light because I want you to come out the darkness. It's time for you to come out. Say, can somebody type that in there? It's time to come out. 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 God gave us instructions and directions on what to do when it gets dark. Come on, y'all. Dark stayed in darkness way too long because God says, I gave you directions. I told you what to do when you see the light, but we stayed, but I thank God. That he never did give up on us. You, God says, Thank I will you. never leave you nor forsake you. Even though you wanted to stay in the club when I said come out. Even though you wanted to stay in the streets when I said come out. God says, I still have my light right there. And thank God. Come on, y'all, that we eventually came into the light. Yeah. Come on, y'all. Yeah. Am I Thank the only Jesus. one? Come on, y'all making me feel like I'm the only one. Maybe that's why the word of God says, the word of God says, He is the word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Come on, y'all. That's what the word does for yeah. us. It lights yes. up the path Thank that you. God has laid yes. for us. Amen. Meaning. And light is refers to strength mm -hmm. and power. That's why mm -hmm. I said keep the light on. Were you, was your light on? Can I ask you a quick question? Was your light on today? Come on. Can I ask you that? Was your light on today? Amen. Because Amen. can I tell you this? The light did not only bring you out, but come your on. light is there so you can help somebody Thank else you, come out. So it's, a, it's, you, it's apparent that we leave our light on every day. Mm -hmm. And so can I ask you again, was your light on today? Come on. Because <laughs> mm -hmm. 
because the light brings us out and it also brings the ones that we love out. That's what that's what Mary Mary said. It's the God in me. Come on, y'all. It's the God in us. That's the light that people see. You want to know why people gravitate towards you and you saying, I'm still yeah, working yeah. on my salvation myself, mm -hmm. but they see a light in mm -hmm. you. Yeah, yeah. You are, you're not all the way there yet, but thank God I'm not where I used to be. Yeah. Come on, y'all. Yeah, but they can yeah. see the light in you. Hallelujah. Stop shortchanging mm -hmm. yourself. Don't dummy down your walk with God. You have come a long way. You may not be where you think you should be, but thank God I'm not where I used to be. And God said, people see the light in you. That's why they come to you on your job and say, can you pray with me? That's why they come come to you on your job or in the store and say, can I talk to you about this situation I'm in? Because John 9 and 5 says, while I am in the world, I am the light of the world. Hmm. Now we are in a dark world and people need to see the light in us. And the yeah. light can be just a simple smile. The mm -hmm. light can be just a simple gesture. Come on, y'all. The light can be just you walking through there. You could be walking through Walmart. They ain't said a word, but it's something about you. Can you God say it's the me. God in me? Come on, y'all. It's the God in me. So he says, the Lord is my light and my salvation. Watch this. Now, whom shall I fear? Mm -hmm. Then he said, the Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? stronghold i had to look that up stronghold to strongly defend or uphold see the lord not only stabilizes us but the lord sustains us yeah we were in the darkness and god stabilized us and he sustained us what does that mean he upholds us and allows us to Thank hold you, on. You know, I'm coming, I'm coming, Thank I'm coming you, real with y'all tonight. I love David because he's he's Ooh, spiritual yeah. and he's real. Can I tell y'all that God is the only reason mm -hmm. that we were able to make it out of what had us in bondage? Yeah. Because God, he up, he up, up hold, he upheld us and it caused us to hold on to him. Hmm. Come on, y'all. And this is what I want to share with you tonight because you want to know why you didn't give up in the midst of your dark season it, or quit in the midst of your dark season, it's because God held you up. Mm -hmm. mm. Hallelujah. You mm. wanted to quit. You wanted to throw in the towel. You was this close to yes. say, I'm done. I'm quitting. I'm over it. But God held you up. Ooh, you even Jesus. failed a couple of times. Come on. Mm. But God not only held you up, he picked mm. you up. Come on, y'all. Can I get some real people on here tonight? Mm. Mm. They can just be transparent and say, Ooh, I haven't dotted geez. every I, I haven't uh, crossed every T. Mm -hmm. I wanted to quit, but God wouldn't let me quit. Matter of fact, you. I threw the towel in and God threw the towel back in me. He said, you need to wipe those tears and allow me to hold you up yes. and hold on to me. Come on, somebody needs to say, God, I'm holding on to you. I'm holding, Ooh, I'm on, holding on to you. Because God held mm -hmm. us up. Mm -hmm. after, David, after David takes comfort in the Lord, then he takes, he, mm. he said, the Lord gives him strength. I mean, the Lord gives him courage. Mm -hmm. He goes from comfort to courage. Watch this. When the wicked advanced against me to devour me, it is the enemies and my foes who stumbled and fell or fall. Okay. So David goes from receiving comfort mm -hmm. in verse one to now having courage mm -hmm. in verse two. You just missed that. Receiving comfort mm -hmm. <laughs> in oh, verse yeah. one to now having courage in verse two. And mm -hmm. this is how it, it, this is how it translates to, to, to God working on your situation because you go from comfort to now having courage. And I love this because David began to realize this is not his first rodeo mm -hmm. with God. <laughs> and mm -hmm. he said, God did it back then. Yes. God yeah. can do it again. Have you ever went through a situation where you know that your haters and your enemies were all uh, uh, were, that were in your past tried to take you out, mm -hmm. but you remembered and reflected on how God got Thank you God. through that in the past. You, and now you can say God is the same today, mm -hmm. yesterday, today, and forevermore. Yes, yes, and yes. that's what we need to understand because David courage came from his history with God. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. David mm -hmm. began to reflect on his past victories because of his history with God. So in other words, so in essence, this is what it says. In spite of what it looks like, he still trusts God. <laughs> I need somebody to understand that right there. In spite of what it seems like, 
and what they said, I still trust God. I don't know who needs to hear that right now because somebody, you're going through something right now. And, and in spite of what they said, the doctor said, in spite of what they're saying about you, in spite of what you may have even done, God says, reflect back over how I brought you through the last time and I can do the same thing today. And that's a word for somebody right here today because the enemy is trying to plot and plan against you, but it won't work. Amen. If somebody type it in there, it's not going to work. It's not going to work. And the scripture tells us it's not going to work because in Isaiah 54 and 17, it says no weapon formed against us shall prosper. Somebody said, somebody said it won't prosper. Now, now I'm not saying that it won't, it won't uh, form. It says no weapon formed against me shall prosper. It will form, but it won't prosper. <laughs> mm -hmm. mm -hmm. They plot and they may plan, but it won't prosper. Come on, y'all. Yes. Because it says it right here, the Bible says, it is my enemies and my foes who will stumble and fall. <laughs> I love it, y'all. Watch this, Proverbs 26 and 27. It says it right there, and I love Proverbs too. It says, whoever digs a pit or a ditch will fall into it. <laughs> If they dig it for you, they'll be the ones end up falling into it. It also says if someone rolls a stone toward you, it will roll back on them. Yes. I love my God because when they start digging ditches and trying to roll stones towards you, guess what? They're going to be the ones that fall in the ditch. They're going to be the ones that the roll, the stone going to roll over. And I thank God because God says when the enemy comes in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord will lift up a banner against you, against him, and no weapon formed against you shall prosper. I want to tell you, there are some things that the enemy had planned and he tried to plot on you, but you didn't even know about it. Mm. Why you didn't know about it because God blocked it. Yeah. Come on, y'all. There's some things that God kept off of you that you didn't even know. You know, we always pray that prayer. Thank you, Lord, for keeping me from danger seen and then the things I did not see, the unseen, because the enemy comes to steal, kill, and destroy. But I love it right here. David says, We shall not fear. Come on, y'all, because God is with us. So after you after you have taken comfort in the Lord. And now God is building that courage, courage in you. Now you begin to get your confidence back. <laughs> I love it right there. He says, the, he said, though an army besiege me, my heart will not fear. Though war break out against me, even then I will be confident. Though an army besiege me, though an army starts forming against me, my heart will not fear. David begins to get confidence now. He mm. begins. And confidence is faith. David begins, his faith begins to build in the midst of a battle. And I want to tell you, although it seems like you are outnumbered and surrounded, David said, don't be scared. Ah, can I talk to somebody tonight? I'm going to read the, uh, the message. Go, go ahead, go ahead. Let me go ahead and read and see y'all hear the Come message says about Psalm 27 and 3. It says, when besieged. Uh -huh. I'm calm as a baby. Come on. When all hell breaks loose, mm. cool and collected. Mm. How about that? Come on. Ah. I love it. I love it. The message. The message. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, David, yeah. David has his confidence yeah, back. You know. yeah. That's yeah. right. David yeah. says, The Lord is my uh, light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? Watch this fear. Then the Lord is my stronghold of my life. Whom shall I be afraid? David says, I'm not scared. I, I don't have fear. I'm not afraid. Matter of fact, the scripture says, God does not give us the spirit of fear, but of love, power, and sound mind. Y'all, when it seems like you are surrounded by the enemy, when it seems like you're surrounded by, by, by the things that you're going through, God says, I'm going to give you a sound mind. I'm going to give you power. I'm going to show you my love. Y'all, y'all give God praise right now for a sound mind. You know, some yes. lost their mind for, for less things that you even going through right now. Some mm. people are ready to go and just put a straight jacket on for the for mm. things you have been through. But God gave you a sound mind, even Ooh. in the midst of being surrounded, y'all. That's why mm -hmm. I can sing the song. It may look like I'm surrounded, but I'm surrounded by you. Come on, y'all. 
That's what your song should be when you're in the midst of a battle. It may look like I'm surrounded, but I'm surrounded by you. That's how I can keep my mind. That's how I can keep my peace because God says, I give you that peace that surpasses all understanding. He says, though a war break out against me, even then I will be confident, confident. He's saying, I will still have my faith in the midst of this battle. I love that right there, y'all. Our daughter, Brittany, she, she blessed me today. And, and I wouldn't, I didn't tell her, but she blessed me. I, I told her I liked it, all that. But I said, that really blessed me today What she posted in our family thread. And she posted something about when David went to fight Goliath, y'all. And I, I it brought back uh, the, the scriptures to me because I didn't even realize it. But, but one thing that blessed me about that was in that devotion, she said that David was about to go into battle or the Bible says David is about to go into battle with the giant Goliath. Now, everybody else called this giant, they called Goliath a giant. Watch me now. But in 1 Samuel, watch this, 17 and 26, David referred to the giant Goliath as this. He says, who is this uncircumcised Philistine Philistine that he should defy the armies of the living God. So mm. David, in essence, said to this, he says, I'm not going to call him no giant. I'm going to call him an uncircumcised <laughs> Philistine. Come on, y'all. David didn't refer to what he was going into battle with as a giant. Can I just tell somebody tonight? Yes, it may look big, but we serve a God that's bigger and stronger. Yeah. And because God is in us, you are bigger and stronger than what you are facing. Can I tell you, maybe that's why Psalms 34, when we read it in the park and I talked about it a little bit, maybe that's why it says, oh, magnify yeah. the Lord with yeah. me yeah. and let us exalt his name because it may look big. Yes, it was a giant. I mean, he was big. Everybody else was afraid of him, but little giant, I mean, little David, a little uh, shepherd boy, he wasn't a scared. He wasn't scared of him. He said, who is this uncircumcised Philistine? You need to go into your job tomorrow. Yeah, attitude. <laughs> that situation big. Say, who is this Amen. that I'm trying to face? I serve a God Amen. that is bigger. I serve yeah. a God that is stronger. Yeah. I want to tell you, yes, they gave you a medical report, but we serve a God that is bigger. We serve a God that is stronger. I want to yes. write down that God is a God that will never leave you nor forsake you. Quit calling your problem big, but call your yes. God bigger. Come on, y'all. We serve yes. a God. And David took down that giant with just five smooth stones. And I come by to let you know Ooh. that you can still take God, take the enemy down right by Ooh. yourself. It doesn't matter how Ooh. big it looks. You are still bigger. You are still stronger and you still can overcome whatever you're in right now. Amen. Amen. Take comfort in the Lord. Ooh. Be of good yes. courage in the Lord. And yet, make sure that Ooh. God is your light. Mm. Yes. Keep Thank your light Lord. on yes. in the midst of the yes. dark situation Ooh. that you're Jesus. going through. Yes, yes. lift your hands right now. Lift Ooh. your hands. Because I feel the presence of God in this Ooh. place right now. Jesus. Yes, Lord. We're going to leave our light on. We're going to leave that light on, God. Yes, Thank yes. You, yes, Lord. Some situations caused us to turn our light off. But God is yes. turning that light on right now tonight. Thank you, we thank you, God, for the light. Oh, thank Hallelujah. you. Lord, the Lord is my light and my salvation. Of thank whom you, shall I be afraid of? Come on, y'all. Who yes. shall I fear? In the name of Jesus, I am not scared. I am not scared. Come on, I'm not scared. I'm not scared. Thank you for your light, God. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, God, for your word, God. Turning a lamp into our feet and a light into our path. We thank you, God, that the word brings illumination in the midst of a devastation. In the midst of devastation, and God, we thank you that the darkness is developing us, God. But God, we pray right now, God, that we will not miss the light that you have for us, God. We thank yes. you right now for shining that light bright on us, God. We thank you for pulling us out of the darkness, even when we tried to stay, God. You pulled us out, and we thank you, God, Father. We pray right now, God, that you will speak light over this situation. God, we know that life and death is in the power of the tongue. And right now, God, I speak life over your health, over their health situation. I speak life over their mind. I speak life over their relationship. I speak life over 
family right now in the name of Jesus. We thank you, God, that God, you can do it in a part. You can do it on this platform. So God, whatever you want to do right now, God, have your way in that home, have your way in that family in the name of Jesus. We thank you right now for turning around, God. It's not going to always be like this, but the yeah. Lord will perfect that concerning you. And I want to let you know, God said he's about to turn it around. Hallelujah. God, we thank you for turning around our situation. And thank Father, you. Thank you for the light, God. We pray right now that you would just move mightily in the lives of your people. And God, we thank you for your healing virtue right now, God, over Brother Taylor. God, we know, God, he has surgery tomorrow. But thank God, you. we thank you for going before him and before the doctors and already working it out, God. Healing is his portion in the name of Jesus. With your thank you, Lord. He is healed. So, God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, God, for victory. God, we thank you that we have have history with you so therefore we got victory with you so thank father you, we thank praise you. your holy and righteous name you, and we give you glory yeah, and we're yeah. not going to wait till the battle is over because god we thank trust you, you right yeah. now so god we're going to put those blessed hands together yes, and bless thank you in advance you. for what you are about to do yeah. in our families in our lives in our finances god it's turning around right now in the thank name you. of jesus we decree it and we declare it. Somebody put those hands together, those blessed hands together and bless your Lord. Come on, bless your Lord and Savior. Come yes, on. amen. Come on. Amen. Come on. If he brought that you out good. in darkness, somebody give him praise. Come on. Come on. Just reflect about that dark season you were in. Come on. Come on. Yes, Lord. And think about where you are right now. Come on. Think about the darkness and now think about where you are right now. I know somebody got a praise. Yeah. Come on, somebody got a praise. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. If I can open it up right now and then somebody can tell their story, you just don't no, know. Yeah. <laughs> yes. What the Lord has done for me. Come on, y'all. Come on. Yes. Transparency is going to lead to transformation. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. I don't look like what I've been through. I don't yes. look like what I took myself through. Come on, y'all. Yes. He's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy. Come on, give God another hand clap of praise. He's worthy. He's worthy. Listen, we want to take this opportunity. We'll be remiss if we didn't open up the doors of the church, even virtually, y'all, in this virtual space. If you're on this line tonight and you've never accepted Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, we want to give you the opportunity to accept him tonight in your life. He is the light that brought all of us out of the darkness. You're looking at some people that God is still developing. Come on, y'all. We all are still on that wheel. God is working on us. He's making us and molding us. So if that's you tonight and you want to accept Jesus Christ tonight yes. on this platform, yes. just, yes. just give us a hand wave. Uh, you can even call me right after this call or you can go online on our website and just click join and we'll get right back with you. Mm -hmm. Maybe you already have a relationship, but you don't have a church home. That means you're, you're spiritually homeless. So mm -hmm. God says you should be around the body of of Christ and around other believers. Mm -hmm. So if that's you tonight and you want to, you felt God move on your heart and you want to be a part of this spot yes. family, y'all. Come on, we are a spot family. Yes. We are a family that loves yes. one another. Yes. And Amen. we would love for you to be a part of Amen. our family. Amen. If that's you tonight, come on, click uh click um hand emoji or just go to our website or just call me right after this call and we'll make sure we connect you with Jesus Christ and connect you with the spot family. Amen. 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 Come on, were you blessed tonight? Amen. Come on, put those blessed hands Amen. together. Yes. Hallelujah. Don't forget to leave your light on. <laughs> don't forget to leave that light on, y'all. Come yes. on. I'm serious. In that house, we don't want nobody to fall. Come on, y'all. You're familiar. You're familiar with the house, but it, it you can get dark. Familiar. You ain't that familiar. Right. We thought, you know, we got comfortable in that world, y'all. We got, we thought we was familiar. We mm -hmm. failed a couple times. Come on. But I thank God so. for that light. Amen. Amen. Well, listen, y'all, we're excited about what God done on Sunday. How many yeah. know God showed up? He blessed us. We had a blessed time on Sunday in the park. But listen, this Friday, just today, God laid it on my heart as we prepare as the children, as our students, as our um, as our teachers and the parents and everybody prepare for school, the educators. We want to have a Friday night fire prayer call, back to school call for and, and pray over our schools, our uh, faculty workers and all of them on this 
Friday evening at seven o'clock, y'all. We're not going to keep you long, but if you're a parent of a child or just want to come on and be a part of this prayer call, mm -hmm. and Amen. please let, let everyone know, join us on this Friday. If you're a administrator, if you're a teacher, if you got students and we want the kids on this, we want to yes. cover yes. our babies, y'all. Come on, spread this word. God laid this on my heart today, and we want to do this on Friday as yes. we prepare for our babies to go back to school. Amen. 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 And then this Sunday, we're still in family and friends. Amen. So, so I had one more. Uh, Who was that handsome guy right there? Oh, you know who that is. <laughs> Who's that handsome? We got one more. I got one more part to this to our lost and found uh, uh, department uh, series. So I want you to meet us at the spot. 5060 East 62nd Street. We won't be in the park. We're going to be back yeah. at our location, y'all. So yeah. I'm excited about this word and we're going to share it on, on this uh, particular uh, Sunday. And please invite your family, invite your yeah. friends, yeah. invite yeah. those that you invited to the park. Come on, y'all. We were yeah. packed. Yeah. We had at least last count. I, I heard it's like once between Two. 175 to 200 people, y'all. Come on. Tell them to Let's meet us at out. the location. Yeah, Come on, yeah, 5060 yeah. East 62nd Street. Come on, tell them the same way we praise God in the park, we do it in the building. Come on, y'all. So yeah, invite yeah, them out yeah, this yeah. Sunday. And I'm excited about that, y'all. Listen, next month, next month, we're going to have our new members class kick back off. I don't have the, the uh, date yet, but we're definitely kicking that back off for our, all, of our, all of our new members. Yes. Be, be on the lookout for that. Yeah. Also, we're going to have another baby dedication. We'll put that out there if anyone has a baby that needs to be dedicated. I'm working out our baptism service to be in prayer, y'all. We got a lot going on. Um, also, in the month of August, I'll be doing a series. I, I'm going to go ahead and share it with you tonight, but I'll be doing a series, y'all. This means war. And that's mm -hmm. going to be the month where we're like going to come that. in our camouflage, y'all. Come like on, that. green. We're going to come in our green. We're going to be ready, y'all. Come on. How many of you know it's time? It's time. Yeah. It's time. Yeah. The enemy has tried long yeah. enough to, to, to keep our family in bondage, to mm -hmm. divide our family, y'all. This means war. war. Come on, y'all. We we taking it back by force. So so next month, be on the lookout for that. And we're going to continue. I think we're going to extend our family and friends throughout the month of uh, August, y'all. Yeah. So I'm excited, y'all. Be in prayer, y'all. God is just dumping all this on me. And I'm sorry, I'm a last minute pastor, y'all. Just like today is Wednesday, Friday, we having this call. But how many know when God speaks? Yeah. It's time to move. Yeah. Amen. And there's a reason why he speaks. So we need to cover our babies as we prepare for school this year. Amen. I think that's it. I think that's it. I think that's it. Were y'all blessed tonight? Amen. 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 Well, share, share the share yes. the flyer. Share the flyer for uh Friday night and then share the one for Sunday. And and, and we look forward to seeing you on Sunday. Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. Don't forget to turn the light on. Yes. Leave the light on. Have a blessed night. Love you guys. Love, Love you guys. You. Bye -bye. Have a blessed night. Night night.